so it begins. The last rank in Oh No More Lemmings. Greetings everyone, it is me, Gigalem, and this was a long time coming. Well, at least this rank in particular. I already went through four ranks of Oh No More Lemmings, and... Yeah, I can't believe I'm actually going to beat this. Well, it might not be tonight, but... Who knows? Anyways, this level looks tubular, huh? Let's uh, try to beat it. I think we can only lose like five lemmings, so let's go. So, welcome to Havoc. And you're gonna know why it's called the Havoc rank in a bit. This particular rank is, uh, is definitely a final rank right there. This definitely earns its name. While well, Mayhem more than, uh, uh more than, uh, and, like, uh, likely deserves its name, uh, in other versions, depending on select versions of the game, you might, uh, have, like, let's see, I'll just, uh, build here. Uh, depending on the versions, either Mayhem is the harder rank, or Taxing is harder because of the system you're on. And if you're like me have played and played the PlayStation version of Lemmings uh, a few years ago, then you'll know that Taxing is a very annoying rank on that version specifically. And... Uh, Basically, I dug low enough so that way I have a safe point uh, for when the lemming has to turn around. Of course, now he has to turn around because we built into a wall, but all we need to do is build over here. And now the next part is to just, well, dig. We just need to dig low enough, and I think we just build right here. And... I think it's like right here. I think in case you don't make it out of here, you can just bash to the exit. Okay, well, the truth. Okay, good. We get past it. Now we can just build to safety. And now let's hope, uh... Okay, good. First try. We had, I decided to go for 100% in this case. But yeah. This level may be a breather. No, this level is a breather compared to what we're going to have to deal with next. Because there are some really nasty levels in this uh, rank, especially without the safety net of Neolemix. I'm not kidding. But yeah, not not even ten minutes, and we already like we only spent ten minutes on this level alone, at least in the recording. But yeah. That is 100% for uh, the first level. Next here is be more than just a number. I know the solution to this level easily because this is a very brilliant level despite uh, needing a lot of builders. Now this level is pretty brilliant. <clears throat> what you want to do first is definitely assign a builder at the very start. Then you're going to need a athlete at the start as well. The one thing you're going to want to do is build to turn yourself around so that way you can eventually build to make a platform and then have a blocker. A uh, blocker. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, provide the safe way down because we need to build across so that way the second climber we use 
will be uh, will be safe and will be carrying out the rest of the work. So of course this dude will be our sacrifice. Next we're going to need another climber. Simply put, uh, because we need another one to carry out the work. So for this part, you need to uh, to dig early here and dig late here so that way they can fall land on here and then fall to safety the next thing you need to do is make sure you build enough to touch this area and make it to the exit but also have a builder to save everyone else so i think you're supposed to build around here so uh yeah there are a lot of levels I do remember, but I've never really saw, like, uh, completed the game myself. I would have solved it on the PlayStation version, but I lost my patience easily with that version. Like, I've already mentioned why the PlayStation version is, my le is uh, not a very good version of the game. Like, it has a lot of problems that hinder it as a, uh... Hinder it as a uh, way to play the game. Like, while I do think it's nice that they bundle two games in one, it really makes it hard to recommend when there are a lot of control issues with the game, where the controls feel, eh, or the, like, okay. So, there is a PlayStation mouse. I can't remember what games are made for it. Also, I think we're in a safe enough spot to uh, build out the crowd. But... Lemmings and Oh No More Lemmings for PlayStation 1. Okay, good. I just barely... That is a really good way to solve the level. And as you can see... You see how cool that is? It's simple, but effective. And we have three builders left. But... Lemmings and I think a, I think the PlayStation versions of Doom, I could be wrong are compatible with the PlayStation Mouse. Lemmings is compatible is compatible with the PlayStation Mouse, but you cannot use the PlayStation Mouse with the controller. You just have to use the PlayStation Mouse or the controller. The problem with that being is that you can't really control this game only using a mouse. You need the keys to pause the game at certain precise intervals or, or such. The mouse just can't cut it by itself. And that's why, like, if you could use the mouse and and PlayStation controller, it could make for a really comfortable experience. But unfortunately, you can't. At least until someone decides to make a mod that lets you control the skill panel and such with the controller and the mouse with the mouse. But that's enough of my griping about the PlayStation version. This is the pr or it's the price you have to pay. And a very long level in terms of, well, everything. First, let's talk about how long this level is. Like, holy crap, it's very long. I think what they wanted you to do is just bash these ones, like have one lemming turn around and you just... <clears throat> You just had to like uh, have the like have some way to destroy the terrain for these, but yeah, and you don't really have that many skills. Let's see. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just trying to think on the spot here. I'm gonna let this one fall because he's the floater. But for this one, I'm gonna let him be the digger and uh, and uh, miner, so that way he can uh, 
that he can provide the path. You want to make sure you dig or bash at the right area. And you want to make sure that when you're digging, you can uh, mine also at the right area as well. So yeah, I think this will be a good enough area to do it. Okay, let me see. Okay, good. Ugh, that... That is actually a re... Yeah, I'm not kidding when I say Havoc can be a really, really brutal rank. But I was not expecting that to work. But, yeah... I think that they wanted you to do is just break these and just uh, provide the pathway, but this is just way too long. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, this level, this level is one of those levels where I know I'm gonna struggle with. Yeah, totally excellent. But we are not done yet. Oh, this one. I knew this one was going to be the uh, very brutal one and such. You need to save everyone, and... The, like, there's a reason why uh, this level is uh, in this rank. So, in case this video takes a while for me to finish, you know why. The Race Against Clichés. This level. Okay, I think that's a good range. We're gonna need to assign this climber. But as soon as uh, Lemmings get around to the wall... Well... We're gonna assign climbers until there's one left. And not only are we uh, racing against the climbers, we're also racing against the clock. Okay, so let's see. One here would be perfect. Now we just need to worry about the climbers. I'm going to keep assigning climbers until there is one left, like that. And now we need to assign floaters. The game's trying to make sure that I am not assigning said floater. Which one of you is not a, flo uh, a floater? There we go. <clears throat> now we just need to make it across this wall, and now we can uh, assign this dude a climber. Because this level is all about timing, and I'm not the best with that. Like, I try to avoid doing that even within my own levels. Nah. We just need him to turn around. Hopefully that should give us enough time for him to catch up, but not catch up too soon. Because we only have one digger instead of just uh, two. And, well, we need to have, like, we can't dig to this one because that's split height. Now we need to bash, and we need to, to dig. Hopefully this won't be too high, because he's already catching up. So, 
So now we just need to make sure we make it across that exit. There, across to the exit. Moment of truth. Okay. He's getting a bit too close, so I'm going to have him build. Now will everyone make it? Because I think I just got the solution. Because I was definitely dreading this level, for sure. Like, this level just looked a bit too perplexing for my tastes. I mean, not for nothing. I It's a, it's a level definitely earning its spot here. It's brilliant and such. Because, it, it, because, well, it's a race, and it fits the title. But, yeah. I think that should about do it for this part. Because, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's take a look at the next level, and... Okay, I... But yeah, let's try to do this level. There's actually a nasty glitch with this level if you're playing the PlayStation version. I think it has to do with basically uh, basically height differences and how like a lemming could actually be in a safe height distance and still splat. What we have here is a really good level. And timing is literally everything for this particular level. So what you want to do is, for the second lemming, as soon as he gets a moment to turn, you have him mine immediately. This will allow him to make a safe platform to the exit. <clears throat> and for that, you want to make sure that uh, he'll be able to... Uh, well. You just want to make sure that you mine the second lemming as soon as he turns around. And f and once the uh, lemmings are free from their uh, from their tunnel, you assign the first uh, lemming as a climber and a few lemmings off as a second climber. This will allow you to uh, <clears throat> this will allow you to essentially gauge uh, the distance between the first and the second climber so that way the second climber can turn around and be able to provide a uh, uh, provide a pathway towards the uh, uh, towards the uh, crowd and now all we have to do is hope that I didn't mind too far away because the other problem with uh, like, you can't sign it too far away, because if you do, that lemming will continue mining. And finally, finally, I've been, wanting, I've been trying to show off the brilliance of this puzzle, and the game was just trying to make me look like I hate it. But yes, I finally did it. And I can't believe I failed this level because I completely forgot that you can't lose any lemmings for it. Ugh, that's havoc for ya. First, rank, uh, first part in havoc, and... It's already tested my patience. Huh. <sighs> yeah. But now it should do it for a part, so... I really hope you enjoyed those outtakes, whatever I do with them. So, yeah. So, if you want to donate, there are a couple of links in the description below. Any amount helps. And if you want to subscribe and uh, follow the series for any, well, if you want to follow the series and and others like it, just hit subscribe, hit the bell, and you'll be on your way. But you don't have to if you don't want to. Take good care of yourself, and I shall now bid you adieu. Oof. And bash. But this isn't a simple walk through this area. You need a build in the middle. There is a trap in the middle of this. Yeah, there is a stalag, like there's a stalag, uh, my tight trap. It, I actually got me. It turns out it was much further than I thought. Whew. Lemmings jump scare. So yeah. 
All you need to do is uh, dig low enough and then ba and then bash. I think you have to build right here. And we just barely have enough builders for it. Okay, so I think you... Okay, it was much sooner than I thought. Because it's with this wall in particular that the lemmings need to make it across. Okay, good. That is really good. Now for this part. You need to dig right here. Uh-oh. Oh, that is not good. That is not good. I should have dug earlier. Oh, no. I should have dug right here. Oof. I should have waited a little bit. Now you know why this level is pretty hard. Okay, so... You're gonna want to... Oh, never mind. I waited a bit too long. Oh, that's why... Of course one of them slipped through. This level is pretty dang brilliant, though. I will... No, that's the wrong lemming. Now we need to set up a uh, climber and a basher. But somewhere into his bash, I'm going to want to send out another climber. Because uh, hopefully he'll make it. Oh, oh no, he's not going to make it. Okay, that's a good point for him to climb. But, never mind. Okay, hopefully he'll make it. Because if he makes it... Okay, please don't get across the wall. Ah. Okay, I think this is a good point to start mining. And we didn't even need to raise the release rate, simply due to the fact that this level has a low lemming count. So hopefully I make it. Oh, that's not looking good. That's not looking good. No. And I think we should start around here. Hopefully he'll stop mining once he reaches the uh, the safe height for it. Basically, the, those blockers and bombers are essentially bait. And if you use them, you are screwed out of the solution. Okay, hopefully this is low enough. Hopefully this is... And we'll be able to mine free. So, yeah, ignore that I click the freaking mouse. He'll uh, have enough room to mine to the exit. And hopefully it'll be low enough. Please be low enough. Please, for the love of God, be low enough. Oh, it's not low enough!